Well, happy Monday. It's another Monday. Here we are. The week is starting. Oh my goodness. You all are probably like, Rachel, what are you doing? Did you get up and get high this morning? What's going on? <laughs> Why are you wearing that on your head? Well, I have a little story for you all today. I uh, was hanging out with a friend the other day and we were cooking dinner. Hello, thank you all for being here and watching. I was uh, making mashed potatoes. Now, for those of you who don't know, I grew up in Oklahoma, so I'm a country girl, which means mashed potatoes are on the menu mm, two to three times a week. <laughs> and I'm not hating it. I love it. So I am making mashed potatoes and I have this little thing this sitting in the sink ready to strain the water out of the potatoes when I'm ready to mash them and my friend comes over and she says Rachel what are you doing that's not a strainer that's a steamer you put that you know in your pot and then you steam vegetables in it and she's right about it right like I can actually when I bought this thing I put it on top of my pots just like this yes and then you put the lid on and you can steam your veggies. But let me tell you something. In the 10 years that I've had this pot, I've never used this as a steamer. Okay, it's always been a strainer. I said, well, yeah, I understand like you can use it as a steamer, but I like to use it as a strainer. And she says, but that's not what it's for. That's not what it is. And I said, amazing, isn't it? How it's not called a strainer and yet it gets the job done. <laughs> It does the exact, exact job that I want a strainer to do. Separate the water from the thing that I want to keep. Hmm, this got me thinking because this became like a good 30 minute conversation. Like the object as sold and labeled as I've been told what to do with it is to steam my vegetables. And yet I have decided, no, I am going to use this a different way. I am going to use it to strain. And we got into a really interesting conversation about how complicated life can be when we sit within the labels and the shoulds, and this is what you're supposed to do. And we are feeling really uncomfortable when we want to do it our own way. Other people are going to come in and say, uh-uh, that's not what that's for. That's not how you're supposed to do that. That's not how you're supposed to show up in the world. That's not how you're supposed to build a business. That's not how you're supposed to be in a relationship. That's not how you're supposed to love someone. That's not how you're supposed to take care of your body. Come on, y'all. I could keep going, right? And yet, amazing that even though I'm using this thing in a way that I'm technically not supposed to, it's still getting the job done for me. So what can we learn <laughs> from this little silly dialogue exchange moment in life? Well, what I want to share with you all is that for me, actually in a place in my life, to not do the thing that I was told to do was very hard. I was really, really scared to color outside of the lines. Yeah. So much in life conditions us, right, to do things the right way. And I felt that so, so strongly for so very long. I couldn't really access the part of me, my intuition, my guide, that said, yes, everybody's going right, but you know what? You really want to go left right now, so go left. Mm-mm, baby. I would shuffle right in with the people going right. Finding our own voice, holding our own unique space, doing things our own unique way, feeling confident in that. Oh, my goodness. This is a journey. Even something as simple as wearing this fabulous shirt that I'm wearing today because I wanted to hide. I wanted to be seen. I wouldn't wear something like colorful and patterns. No, uh -uh. baggy t-shirts fit in. 
basic, nothing wrong with baggy t-shirts, I mean, but I wear them all the time when I'm in comfy zone. But like, I didn't have any choice is what I mean to say. I wasn't able to access because the part of me that was like, oh, that's really cute would stop and say, no, nah, Rachel, that's not for you. You're not allowed. That's too much. And that didn't just show up with me around clothes. That showed up with me around love, the way that I nurtured myself, the way that I fed myself. So all I want you to really connect with today is maybe you have something in your life and you want to do it your way. You want to use it your way. And maybe there are a lot of people saying, what are you doing? That's a steamer, not a strainer. (laughs) And you're going to have to find some courage and you're going to have to find some space in you that says, shut up. Okay. Like I am doing me. And what is so beautiful is I'm still getting the result that I want. I'm not getting there the way that you want me to, how you think I should, but check it out. We still have mashed potatoes for dinner. Yes, honey. (laughs) I will love to hear your comments, your questions, your ahas. As always, if I can be any help to you in your healing journey, I'm here. Reach out. And until next time, take good care of you.